hello and you are welcome to this amazing channel once again nice to see you guys around because i love all of you so much and i know that you also love me as well today i want us to talk about a theme titled false positive what is this false positive if they say something is false it means already that the thing is not true if they say something is positive it means the thing is right it is positive right that means also the thing is perfect so if we put these th two things together saying that false positive it means believing something to be true which is untrue false positive do you know that it's not always everything that we hear on the radio station or hear on the television that is true someone can go to the television and advertise a business though he's advertising on the television doesn't mean that the thing is that the thing is right Though he's advertising on the radio doesn't mean that the thing is perfect. False positive. You know, most of the times we receive, uh, we receive information from our colleagues. Sometimes they walk in as a third party just to break, break the lineage between you and somebody. Because of how connected both of you are, they are just trying to do what? To bring, break the lineage. And by doing so, they bring information to one partner, either to bring false positive information to one partner, to believe, even though the information is not true. How can someone bring false positive onto you? By bringing you information of hearsay. I have a head of this person. I have heard of this and that. And you know, hearsay can always bring breakages into relationships, Either between you and your father, you and your mother, your siblings, your loved ones, or your co-workers. Hearsay. Hearsay can partly be true and totally be untrue most of the times. So we ought to make great and deep research whenever we hear hearsay about our, te our colleagues. Most of the time these things happen and we don't exercise, exercise patience. We jump into conclusion. And it brings anger and misunderstanding between the two partners. And then the separation comes in. So once the separation comes in, the third person wins. And for the third person not to win, then it means we have to exercise patience wherever we hear something about our fellow colleagues, which our fellow colleagues, our family member, or a, a, a connected, connected partnership with someone. When a third person is walking in to bring information about one partner to you, sit down first and analyze that this person that they are presenting to me, that he has done A or B, can he really do what I'm hearing about him? If you think somehow that he can do it, exercise patience. Don't jump into conclusion. So, what must you do? Wait and gather more information. If you have gathered more information and you are realizing that these information that you are hearing can either be true, consult the person, use wisdom, and interview the person. Ask the person with wisdom to find out that this is what I'm hearing about you. But don't go behind the person spreading rumors that this is what I'm hearing about this person, that this is what I'm hearing about this Mr. A or Mrs. B. You need to consult the person, ask the person, that this is what I am hearing about you. How do you think about the situation? Perhaps the, what the person or your fellow colleague will tell you is not the same as how the third person is presenting it to you. The third person might try to present it in, in, in a nice way just to bring a breakage between you and your loved one, you and your family member, and you and a connected or a co-worker. Most of the times, you know, some of our preachers can even preach false positive information to you that will bring a breakage between you and your family. When you go to a service somewhere, excuse me to say, some of our preachers who are not on the right way, they will tell you that, you know, you lose that job because your grandmother was the one responsible. They will tell you that you lose that opportunity because your father has already documented your, 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 your particulars in, in, in the cave. So, when you get back home and you don't exercise patience to look through things well, what happens is that you are going with grief. 
there is going to be anger. And when you approach your relations with anger, and there is misunderstanding, then breakages of this kind of relationships start coming in. So what I want to say today is that a colleague or bad friends can also bring false positive information to you. I say a bad friend because a good friend can never bring information to you to bring breakage between you and your boss or you and your loved one. Remember that whenever you want to fall in love with someone, fall in love not with your eyes or by hearsay, but with your heart. When I say fall in love, it doesn't mean that falling in love like a boy and a girl falling in love. But you can fall in love with your mom, with your dad, which means that kind of family relationship, it is a love. Because wherever there is love, there must be peace. So wherever the third person is trying to bring misunderstanding between the two parties, which already had a love bond together, you must know that that third person is just bringing confusion between your relationship. False positive. Whenever we receive false positive information, let's try hard to analyze, to sit down, calculate, think about it. Gather more information to know if the information is really true. Thank you all my fans. I love all of you. If you love this simple message, share to someone to listen. Don't forget to click the like button. And if you are new to this channel, please can you click on the subscription so that you will continue listening to these amazing messages of mine. And please, your contributions are more important. Your contributions in terms of suggestions and your messages, drop them in the message inbox for me. I'll read them out and next time I'll update. If there's more information, there are more things you want me to add, I will add them. Thank you all for watching. God bless all of you. Let's be careful about false positive information. See you once again. Bye for now.